our nerves play a very important role in the transmission of pain in when a, a patient, when someone has IBS, has irritable bowel syndrome. And the, the relationship between our uh, nervous system, our immune system and IBS has been uh, the topic of a very interesting lecture that uh, Professor uh, Buxtans from the University of Leuven in Belgium has held here in Italy, in Bologna, during the IBS Bologna Days 2016. And we have the privilege to speak with Professor Buxtans. Um, uh, how the immune system affect our nerves, which is the relationship between immune and nerves? Well, the nerves that affect or um, transmit the pain signals to the, to the brain are in close proximity to, to, nerve, uh, to immune cells. And we're getting more and more information that uh, in IBS, these immune cells release mediators, bioactive mediators, that may affect the function of these nerve uh, endings. And these nerve endings are important because they sense actually the pain in the gut. And so if these uh, immune cells release these mediators uh, and they increase the, the sensitivity of these uh, pain-sensing nerve fibers, it becomes very important to know how these immune cells interact with these nerve fibers um, to eventually get more information on how pain is sensed in these uh, patients and how eventually we can intervene, we can intervene uh, with drugs uh, to get to treat these patients and make them better. That's a bit what uh, neuroimmune interaction, why that is important in uh, IBS. And we know specifically which type of interaction there are between these two systems? Well, of course, there's still a lot to be, to be done, uh, but we know quite certain that uh, mast cells, which we know from allergic diseases, uh, that they may play a role in, um, in this upregulation or the sensitization of these uh, pain sensing nerve endings. And this has been studied in humans or also in, all, only in rats, or only in animal models? No, no, this, this has an, indeed been studied in, in patients where, for example, um, the number of these mast cells has been studied, but particularly, and I think that's the most important, that if uh, you take biopsies from the gut of these patients and you measure the uh, release uh, of mediators in, from these uh, biopsies, that it's mainly mediators of these mast cells that are uh, increased. And if you put then these supernatant on nerves, then they are activated, they become more sensitive, uh, which tells us that these mediators or these mast cells may be important in the generation of symptoms in uh, patients with IBS. This is only basic research, which is important, or could have, uh, could affect also the, the, the therapy of this type of disease? Well, it, it, it's uh, actually, we um, did um, studies in patients, not in, in animals, but where we take uh, biopsies and then we study the nerves in these biopsies from patients, where we see that they are indeed hyperactive compared to control um, neurons. And what is important if we then, we found that histamine, so one of the mediators, which is also important in allergy, um, that if we then treat these patients with an, uh, an, an antagonist to histamine, which is also used for, to treat patients with allergy, that they improve significantly, um, even 30% more than placebo, which in this type of diseases is extremely high. So that's why we are currently doing uh, a follow-up study where we will treat 200 patients uh, with this drug, um, an H1 receptor antagonist, Devastin, uh, and see if it uh, can be confirmed in a larger uh, study population. It's a phase two study? It is indeed a phase, study, a two, a phase two study, but uh, investigated, initiated, so uh, uh, driven by, by my group.